so what's up guys i'm gonna be doing my makeup i'm gonna be giving you guys an update so i told you guys on instagram that i was gonna be doing a vicky vibes video on adulting so you guys gave me some suggestions on topics that i should talk about but i'm kind of just gonna give you guys the rundown on what's going on in my life hopefully it helps you i am trying to learn how to adult myself okay it ain't easy <laughs> being cheesy first of all my hair is blonde i know um if you guys don't follow me on snapchat instagram insta snap do you even follow me Two weeks ago, I went to the salon and we tried to lighten it as much as possible and this is how light we got. Honestly, it looks a thousand times better than it did when I left the salon. I had Velveeta cheese hair. I'm using the Glam Glow Glow Starter uh, Moisturizer. Oh, I love this stuff, it smells so good. When we were going blonde, this is as light as my hair would go. We bleached it twice, so I did a two-part bleach process that day it was still kind of orangey so a couple days later i toned it myself with the wella uh t18 toner i believe isn't really what i wanted but it'll have to do for now because i'm stuck like this <laughs> i'm thinking about dyeing it a color because i don't think i like this very much on me um i was gonna do a foundation friday on this hourglass stick but it's not a first impressions, so I kind of want to like do a little more test runs. I have golden almond and warm almond, and I've yet to figure out if I'm golden almond or warm almond. I think I'm warm almond. I was going to talk about my skin. My skin has been looking great. I don't know why, because I mean, it's not really like I've been doing anything different. A lot of people have been asking for an updated skincare routine, and my skincare routine has not changed. Um, I can give you guys... A little bit of an idea of what yep golden almond is more my color but yeah I I don't know why my skin has just been like on fleek lately but it has and I'm not mad at it like at all yeah if you guys are wondering what I've been using on my skin I can give you guys an updated skincare routine if you would like but to be honest with you guys it's pretty much the same as this last skincare routine I posted. Um, this video is about adulting. I already said that I was gonna talk about adulting. This is a really orange foundation. What do you guys think? But we're gonna keep going. I told you guys that I was gonna talk to you guys about adulting. A lot of you guys asked about finances, how to balance your time, how to manage your money, how to basically just like get your life together as an adult. A lot of people that follow me, I know you guys are probably around your 20s, but most of you guys are out of high, out of high school and you were transitioning into adult life. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, which I really, really like. Like, I've really, really been liking it. After college or high school or whatever, if you're, you know, just now going into the adult world, it's it's tough, it's difficult. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I haven't really been as active as I usually am on social media. I've been trying to keep up with my YouTube schedule, but a lot has been going on and I'm just like, really like trying to make sure that I'm okay because in the past I've overwhelmed myself with creating content things like that submerging myself in my work and I don't make time for myself so now I'm like on the opposite end I'm making so much time for myself that I haven't been doing enough work it's always a struggle okay for those of you who are wondering you know how do I balance my time how do I manage my time I don't I mean, I'm not terrible. I just, I'm not the best. Uh, I could be better. I have a hard time like putting my all into multiple things. This year, I've really been focused on getting this house together, right? Like that's been taking up a lot of my time and my energy and my thought. And so YouTube is kind of taking a back seat for me um, just because I can't really focus on putting 100% into my videoing when I'm trying to get everything else together. I don't know, I've really been going through a period where I'm really trying to like figure out myself, to be honest, figure out who I am as an adult because my parents took care of me very well to the point where I didn't even think that we were Poe. I never noticed that my parents were like broke or that they were struggling. I never knew what that looked like because they never really let me see what that looked like. My dad wasn't really making a lot of money and he says this all the time so it's not like I'm bashing them or anything. We lived in a one bedroom apartment, we ate dinner on a crate and I mean that's pretty much how it was. That whole process for them was a struggle and I didn't know that until I got older. I never saw that process look like a struggle. Becoming my own adult and having to come into this whole adult life being married and paying bills and a house and keeping everything up, trying to wash dishes and cook and clean and wash clothes and doing videos 
and making content full time, all of that, it just really started to hit me like, dang, I'm an adult and this is hard because there's a lot to keep up with. You know, I was like, okay, so parents, please explain because I'm just, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm missing this whole thing, but can you please explain to me why you didn't tell me that this was hard? Like, they just kind of like threw me out the window and was like, okay, fly birdie. And I'm like, wait. Not to say that I wasn't ready. It's just because at some point this was going to have to happen. Like, I would still have to learn how to do it. You know, packing up and moving away and getting married was not the hard part for me. The hard part for me has, has been being vulnerable and allowing myself to grow and go through this process. Like, I think I've discredited the whole process. Oh, it's fine. It's nothing. I got this. I don't need help. I don't need to tell anybody my problems. I can do this on my own kind of thing. This is ColourPop Brow Pencil, guys. ColourPop Brow Pencils are bomb. Why didn't no one tell me? I'm angry with all of you. The struggle part of being a wife is having to let go of your reserves and let go of yourself. Allowing each other to help each other and not be so prideful and think I got this and I don't really need your help. Not to say that I don't want his help. I don't like to talk about my feelings and I've told y'all that before. Having to let someone know when I'm not okay. That's That's been a struggle for me adulting just becomes too much I'm just like okay I can't I can't do this today and I just wake up with tons and tons of things that I have to do on my mind I've had to learn okay to let somebody help you so that's where that vulnerability vulnerability bono I can't talk vulnerability thing comes in but also I've had to learn how to not knock myself and beat myself up for not getting everything done the way that I want to do it you know I just oh man sometimes I look at my parents in my brain from a long time ago and I'm just like dang they made that look really easy I can't even make uh picking up a can of paint look easy I will drop a can of paint all over the floor and have to scoop it all up with my hands I've just had to really like teach myself how to be like chill child chill Rome wasn't built overnight so that means if you're struggling with something, you know, the struggle is necessary. There's a process to everything. Set daily goals for myself and allow myself to meet one goal at a time, giving myself time, teaching myself patience. All this stuff is work and it's things that I've been learning how to do. It's a lot. Sometimes it gets overwhelming. So that's basically what I've been doing the past couple of months struggling falling on my face and then teaching myself how to get back up and learn from it and get better money isn't even like the serious really the serious issue for me take care of things on my own it just it's a lot of pressure you know what i mean even with the husband it's still a lot of pressure because i mean he has his own stuff that he has to learn and he has to deal with too it's still a struggle like there's no easy way to adult no matter how much help you have you still are responsible for you i've been really bad this year especially about beating myself up about stuff because I am low-key a perfectionist. Every little thing that went wrong, I would just go in on myself. Like, bro, what's wrong with you? Why can't you do this right? It just, it came from a fear of not being good enough. Everything can like pile up on me and I'll just start freaking out about every little thing. And I think that's a form of anxiety, I'm pretty sure, because I couldn't breathe and I had to like do breathing exercises. You know, I don't really like to open up about my anxiety and things like that because I don't like to put my mouth on it because I feel like when you talk about something, it gets worse. <laughs> I tried to just like push it under the rug like, oh, stuff doesn't bother me. I'm fine. You know, I'm just minding my own business. I got this. It's cool. That's a form of denial. Not giving myself grace, I guess you could say. Like, if I did something wrong, I wouldn't be like, it's okay, everyone makes mistakes, everybody goes through it. I'll just be like, no, you're supposed to have this, and you're supposed to do this. You just, you know, you wanna do stuff right. You know what I mean? And I just felt like I wasn't doing anything right. It's it's a little deeper than that, but I can't really talk about too much. There's, there's still some things that I'm still working on in that area, but for the most part, I've been doing good. And let me tell you what has been helping me cope with all of this anxiousness and adulting and struggling. Normally when I wake up every morning I have a thousand things that I need to do on my mind and I start you know panicking like oh I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. Before I even get out of bed I get my mind right. I wake up, I take about about 15 to 20 minutes 
um, to just sit there and reflect on all the things I'm grateful for, all the things I'm happy about, all the things that I have that I can be grateful for. First, because the Bible says, you know, to think on good things. I've really been focusing, I got some new makeup geek stuff and I'm really excited to try it. So I'm gonna try that stuff today. Let's do this one. This one's pretty. This is called Covet. Um, mm, mm, yes, oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Makeup geek, why are your blushes so amazing though? I'm sorry. Who didn't tell me? Yeah, I've been waking up every morning and kind of just like giving myself a pep talk. I do like a devotional. I use the YouVersion Bible app and I've been doing the soul detox where basically it's, it's helping me to not talk negatively. Kind of just like detoxing my mind from negative thoughts because I've just let in a lot of negativity. And I've always been hard on myself, like even before I was an adult, when I was living at home with my parents. And that comes from being a perfectionist and just wanting everything to be right. This is the Taraji highlighter, by the way. Just wanting everything to be right and wanting, you know, wanting to do the best that I can do in everything. You know, not really like a bad thing in the right context, but now that I'm older, I have a lot more to worry about. And that kind of mentality is a little bit too harsh. It's like, it's gone to an extreme because I'm extra. So I wake up every morning, I give myself a pep talk. I kind of just ease my mind a little bit. I read my devotional to really like get my mind straight. You know what I'm saying? Like it like kind of sets my day up to be a good day. That's been helping out a lot. So even when things go bad, even when, you know, I'm trying to be productive, it's fine. Everything happens for a reason. You know, just kind of like reassuring myself. I got all these Makeup Geek shadows that I'm excited about, so I'm going to try some of them. Yeah, this is Tiki Hut. I'm going to use Tiki Hut. But yeah, that's what I've been doing to kind of like cope with the pressure and keep from falling apart. You know, the year is almost over and I told myself that I was going to do better about taking care of myself. In the past couple weeks, I've had to really step back and be like, okay, you're losing track. Make sure you're on the right track. Make sure you're giving yourself time. Make sure you're drinking water. Make sure you're not beating yourself up. That time is necessary. Like you can't completely lose yourself in whatever you do and think that you're gonna be okay. And give yourself some credit. You're not the only person who is going through this struggle. You know what I mean? So this is grandstand foiled eyeshadow. Adult life is definitely not easy and you have to give yourself some credit guys. That's just been my struggle this year is beating myself up like all the time. Like you need to do this better. Just being an adult in general, I've just felt like I'm not good enough. I've had to kind of like stop pressuring myself so much. Okay, so shout out to one of my, shout out to one of my subbies because she got me two packs of lashes. She got me the 614 Salon Perfects and the 615 Salon Perfects. So shout out to you because I've been looking for these and I cannot find them anywhere, you're the real MVP. And I think what's most important at this point is figuring out, of course, you know, what, what's your purpose is, what, what you're supposed to be doing. Your purpose is usually tied to your passion. So whatever you're passionate about, I think you should just continue to go after that and let that be your motivation. It's easy to look left and right and see people who are doing better than you. And that's another thing, please don't be comparing yourself because I mean, it's one thing to be inspired by somebody, but to be comparing yourself, you know, it's that's not healthy. You can't compare yourself to other people, especially when you only see a small part of their life. Your path is your own path, and that's pretty much it. Like, you can't really, like, compare to anybody else's and say, well, this person is right, right here right now, so I should be right there right now. Like, even if you're just trying to figure yourself out and you're having a hard time, just figuring out what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Don't just sit around and wait for answers to fall out of the sky. I might not be able to give you the answers, but what I can tell you is that an idle mind is the devil's playground, okay? And I know this from experience, just sitting around waiting on something to happen. You gotta occupy your time with something, occupy your mind with something. You have to kind of like make moves for yourself and be your own inspiration. You have to encourage yourself, okay? Cause I've gone through, you know, periods where people will like, you know, encourage me in something and I don't really believe what they're saying. So then even though somebody else tried to encourage me, it didn't work because I didn't believe it. Faith is, you know, believing in something you can't see. So even if you don't see yourself doing good or you don't see yourself having a good 
career or making a lot of money or whatever it is that you want even if you can't see any of those things because of where you are right now you can't just sit around thinking oh i wish i had this i wish i had that because that'll get you in a place where you're discontent and you'll start hating your life and then you'll look up one day and be like crap how did i get here and it's because you weren't thinking positively and having faith in yourself just because you can't see it right now don't mean it won't happen i think that's really important that you think positively you think towards your goal if you don't have any hope or any faith in your brain, then it's not gonna it's not gonna come forth. Nothing is gonna happen to you if you're not thinking positively. You have to think your way into success. You can't just expect things to happen without putting forth the effort, you know? And that goes for the way that you think and your actions. I'm gonna be putting on this ultra glossy lip in the color fudged. A lot of people actually asked about friendships. Um, being an adult friendships are definitely different because it's it's kind of harder to make and keep good friends when you're an adult you don't have time to keep up with people being an adult is hard enough on its own okay but to be worried about somebody else to be worried about another adult when I'm already worried about this adult right here and the other adult that sleeps in the bed with me at this point in my life friendships are supplementary okay friendships are not the meat friendships are not the vegetables friendships are supplements that you can take in small doses to help you out with your life friends are great because they can be a great support system you know they're good for listening i would actually recommend that if you're married find you some married people that kind of think the same as you um, like because you want to have friends who are going in the same direction as you or understand what you're going through and if you don't have any friends like that then you're kind of like boxing yourself in and this was an issue that I had dealt with when I first got married because I was basically the new kid on the block I was the only person in our friend group who didn't know anybody it was kind of hard for me to open up to other people. With that, I had to really learn how to stop being so reserved, I guess. Going into friendships when you're an adult, it's a lot different because you have a game plan like now. Like you, you're you worried about too much to be worried about a friendship. Because your friendship should be your easiest relationships, you know? Because you pick your friends based on commonalities. This is the age where people are really selfish because they're trying to figure themselves out. So it's hard enough but at the same time, you don't want to have friendships just for benefits. You want friendships that actually mean something. So that's why I say you you want to find people who are going in the same direction as you, who kind of like have the same kind of outlook on life. I mean, it's good to have friends who are different from you that can teach you things, but everybody's different. So that's easy. It's just good to have that kind of support because it helps you to remain focused on what you're doing. And they kind of like encourage you and support you and point you in the right direction and can celebrate with you when good things happen or they can help you to remember why you're doing what you're doing. Before I got married, I didn't have many friends. I didn't have a good friend group. Um, I walked into a good friend group because Cameron has really good friends. And it's because he doesn't make friends with people for, for a benefit. You know, he doesn't like he doesn't compare himself to his friends and he doesn't compete with them. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's what really kills a friendship is when somebody's competing with you. You can't really celebrate around them because they either want what you have or don't think you deserve what you have. You also don't want to have cupcake friendships where y'all are just laughing and giggling and having fun. Y'all go out or whatever and hang out all the time. But then when something serious happens, they don't want to talk to you about it and they shut you out. That'll make you want to shut them out when something happens to you. Those kind of things you don't want. I understand why it's hard, but you can't alienate yourself. You just have to build that trust with people, I guess. You know, you need people to talk to and if you don't, you're like a, a Coke bottle and all of this stuff is shaking you up and you're starting to fizzle, but your top is still on because you don't want to pop your cap for nobody. One day, it's just it's too much shaking and you're going to explode which happens to me like I, I do that all the time because I'm so used to not talking to people about my problems so used to talking to the walls about my problems and so don't think it's just you because it's, it's something I've been working on too where I have to like learn how to open up and express myself in a healthy way um, so that I'm not exploding <laughs> but I think that's really important to have people around you who are you know trying to strive towards the right goals and um, trying to do better. When I beat myself up about stuff, they tell me, um, Vicky, no, you're better than this. Stop that. And I want 
to be the same kind of friend. Like, I'm going to punch you in the face if you're doing something stupid. And you should be able to punch me in the face if I'm doing something stupid. We hold each other accountable. If you're wondering where to find good friends, I have made friends just by being friendly with people. The best friendships happen organically. You shouldn't have to force anybody to be your friend. Nobody wants to be a friend with a negative Nancy. Just continue to be a positive person. Good things happen to those who do good things. I've said this before. If you want good people in your life, what kind of seeds are you planting to get those kind of results? What kind of person are you being? Are you very standoffish? Are you very skeptical of people? Are you pessimistic? You know, always side-eyeing people, trying to figure out what's wrong with them. My husband showed me how to be a good friend. And that's why I have friends now, because I learned how to be a good friend, how to be friendly, how to not look at people sideways and expect them to do something negative to you. Because the thing is, if you expect negative things, negative things are gonna happen. We had a housewarming and that was the first time I've ever had an event like that where people showed up, like everybody showed up. Prior to that, when I would have stuff, like I would expect people to not show up. I would expect people to not bring me a gift. I would expect people to like, tell me they're coming and flake on me. Put it in my mind that, oh, people are just like that, that's what they're gonna do. You shouldn't expect bad things to happen because you expect bad things to happen, it's gonna rain. And when it rains, it pours. Think on good things. You have to keep reminding yourself to wake up and be positive, have a positive outlook. Every week, I wake up every Monday and I say, I'm gonna be productive this week, it's gonna be a good week. The week that I don't do that, guess what happens? I'm not productive, I don't drink enough water, I don't mind my business. And it's because I didn't put it in my head at the beginning of the week that I was gonna have a good week. Learn how to fake the funk. Speak positivity and then positivity will happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people ask me about adulting when I'm married. And like I said, mar being married is not the hard part of adulting. Let me just say this one, I'm not, I don't know everything about marriage because I've only been married for almost three years. I've learned to not let my marriage work against me. Like, use it to your benefit. You guys need to work together. You guys need to communicate. And that's the whole key to being married. You're a team. You, when you're living with somebody, you're a team. You have to be able to work with that person. We've had to learn how to sit down. Okay, this is the budget. This is what we can do. This is what we can't do. Let's make a goal. You get to figure out how to work those things out together. Don't work against each other because that'll make it worse. Especially if you're feeling like you're doing it all by yourself, you know? If you have somebody there to help you, let them help you set your pride aside and let them help you just guys remember that you are you know being positive you're praying you know you're learning how to trust god on your own okay so that's okay if you're still learning how to trust god because i'm still learning how to trust god okay i'm still learning how to let go of you know trying to do everything on my own and i'm like okay lord i'm just gonna let you have this you know what i'm saying like boop you take that because i don't want it. i'm just I, I talked about this with my mom the other day she was like you know this is the first time you've ever had to do all this trusting and having faith and all that stuff that, that we talk about in church all the time, you have to do that on your own. Like you can't, nobody can do that for you. It's not easy, it's not an easy process. And the moment that you realize it's not an easy process, you can give yourself grace and say, hey, it's okay if I don't have it all figured out because I'm only 20 something. We're learning, it's a learning process. Talk positively to yourself. And if you are doing good, or if you do something good or something good happens, treat yourself. Treat yourself. But you guys forgive me if I haven't been uploading a lot or if it seems like I haven't really been doing anything with my videos and stuff. Just know I'm in my secret place. I'm in my secret place right now talking myself up and I can't really pour out of an empty cup. I can't really get on here and do this kind of interaction and be open with you guys if I'm not whole. I'm, a, I'm an adult and I'm growing, but I'm also learning myself. And so I'm having to really learn who I am as a grown 24 year old, almost 25 year old woman, you know? And that person is different than the 21, 22, 23 year old. And so I have to really give myself time to grow and I can't do that on camera. <laughs> That's why I feel like I've been kind of hiding my heart because I'm really trying to grow in that area, you know? You know, you can see all of the stuff that I'm doing on YouTube, all the good stuff that I show you guys, but I don't show you guys the bad stuff. I don't show you guys when I'm crying. I don't show you guys when I'm upset. I'm doing a lot better. I'm a lot more positive. I'm a lot more happy-go-lucky lately. Um, so that's why I was able to make this video. And I'm glad that you guys, you know, are feeling me on the adult tip. This process is not easy for anybody, okay? Um, so that's why I wanted to make this video. I'm gonna go, because I'm talking way too much. Bye.